life continues. So, so I think uh, art has an enormous power to impact people. Why not use that? And why not find a beautiful shape which has a powerful message and present that to the people? So, so that's how I see myself as an artist. You know, there are many ways to, to be uh, artistic, right? You can be uh, just a dancer or a musician, but visual art has another power to impact people uh, and provoke thinking, and I'd like to use that. So that's how um, is the connection between um, my message and my work, because I on purpose want this to be like that. work is to be understood by the others, right? We are not doing it for ourselves. So art becomes art when it's appreciated by the audience. I think that completes the process because if you just stay at home and sing a song on the guitar and you think you are an artist, it's fine, but you become a real artist where other people listen to you and you see that their reaction. So the same is with our visual work, so we want people to respond to it. Now, this is art, but it's also a craft, so you should know all the ways of uh, attracting people and uh, making them listen to you. So, for so many years, and by consciously thinking about that, I, I have mastered some ways of doing this. And uh, one way I think to attract people uh, is to shock them a little bit in a good way because people like to be provoked, they like to be shocked. If I just say it's hard to do this or that, nobody will pay attention to me. But if I find an unusual twist, an unusual way of showing them that, then all, they all of a sudden listen to it. And also, by provoking them like that, people uh, feel that they discover it for themselves. It becomes their own uh, thing, right? I'm not like a propaganda politician who will say it's wrong to be this or that, and this is yes, this is no. No, I don't say this. I just uh, provoke, I ask a question, and people uh, are interested, and they are kind of challenged, you know? So, so that's one way of doing it. In all of my work, I guess, you can see some of that. Like, like any of them, you know, like, see, if you remember this one about the health coverage with the umbrella without the fabric, I can easily put 40 million people don't have health coverage. It's as powerful as, as the other one, but who will read it, who will pay attention? But if I show them something absurd, like this umbrella, then they say, what? What is that? That's funny. What's that? And then, oh, but that's funny, but that's serious. So that's how you understand it and you remember it. Then, about the simple is about making the complex uh, become so simple. This is also a long process. It doesn't happen at once. Um, and you 
so a little bit of my sketches, so almost behind all of my work there is tons of uh, tries and drawings and eliminating this, adding that. Sometimes you feel disappointed and you don't want to look at it and the work speaks to you and you find it, you know, so it's not uh, easy. But the other thing I always uh, try to make sure that my work is understood not only by me but by people who have no idea about art. So I sometimes would ask my neighbor or anybody, you know, and my family and whatever, just a regular person, what do you think, what do you understand? And sometimes people completely don't understand what you mean and they know that maybe something is wrong because I see it, because I'm used to it, because I know what I want to say but it does not communicate to other people. So I test sometimes and uh, uh, I check with that.